Okay, we're back here. Uh, we're going to look at some more shots from the Sony A99 II. This was a little test I wanted to do um, of kind of an oncoming object, um, in this case a train, uh, coming right at you and trying to test out the autofocus system. Uh, this is going to be a little difficult here because it, it was a snowy morning. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a little tough to see how sharp the pictures are. Uh, you can see it when the train gets a little bit closer, but I'm just going to go through them real quick here for you. For this, uh, this series of shots, I was at a shutter speed of 1 500th of a second, f5.6, and I think the ISO was bouncing around from 320, maybe up to 800 or so. I don't recall exactly, but uh, you know we can look at that a little bit too. Uh, I, I don't really think you're going to see any noise. I just I wanted to really test out the uh, the autofocus system here again with uh, a moving object coming at you. Uh, of course, I'm in autofocus continuous mode. I was using the flexible spot. And that was about it. Um, before I get into these, let's take a second here. I'll give you a little behind the scenes and uh, show you what this looked and sounded like. Uh, seeing this train come in. Uh, this is the Pennsylvania that goes from uh, New York to Pittsburgh every day. Um, so anyways, you can see what the A99 sounds like firing away here. Uh, this is uh, high mode. So the focus should be adjusting uh, the entire time. Back here, let's take a look. Let's uh, flip through these images real quick and see if we can tell. Check out the autofocus system and see what we got. I'm just going to go through them. If I see anything, I'll zoom in on them. So you know, like I said, this was a snowy morning. It's going to be it's going to be kind of tough to see how sharp it is. There's an awful lot of snow in the way, but I would say that looks good. All right, I'm just going to keep going through. Train gets a little closer, be able to see it better. I'm going to zoom in and look at these. This is one to one zoom. A little slow to load here at one to one. Move through these a little bit quicker. They look seem to be pretty good. I would think this would be a pretty difficult test for the autofocus system. Okay, now we're getting a little close. You can see the train a little sharper. This one here, that looks a little soft. Sharp, soft, sharp. So there's one, you know, one frame there out of focus. So here we're getting close. Now you can really see it. Zoom in. That's nice and sharp. These all look sharp. They're all good. That's nice. Zoom in here. We got plenty of detail. Here we're at ISO 1000 f5.6 and 1 to 1250 shutter speed. Lots of detail in that picture. That looks great. These are JPEGs uh, straight out of the A99. So these look good here. Um, 
all in all, in shooting with the camera, I've been uh, really, really pleased with the autofocus system and the uh, and the higher ISO performance. I'm really uh, they've come a long way since the A99 and A77 days in the uh, high noise area. So lots of detail in this picture. The lens I'm using here, uh, you can probably see, is the Sony 70 to 400 G2. That's a variable aperture f4 to 5.6. I just locked it in at 5.6. So the aperture wasn't bouncing around on me during this series of shots. These all look nice and sharp. These look great. And you know, this train is moving pretty good too. You can see you probably saw in the video. Okay, just about done here. And that was it. I shot another series of shots of uh, this train coming out. Maybe we'll take it take a look at those in another video. But all right, uh, that's all for this one. I've got lots of lots more A99 Mark II stuff to show you, so check back in. Thanks. See ya.